Welcome back. It's Brian with Doc's Prop Shop. How's everybody doing today? Doing a review on the smaller die cast vehicles. Of course, being the Millennium Falcon. Sorry about that. So we have the Hot Wheels series, the Black series, and the Titanium, which is this Titanium as well. Titanium 2006, 2015, and 2018 models. So doing a little in uh, review on, you know, kind of the pros and cons of the smaller ships. Uh, I've had this one the longest and acquired these three just recently. And I've had this one since I would say mid, mid of the year. So what we have is five different ships with five different owners. So you have the concept by Hot Wheels. Very nice ship. You got the escape pods there. You got the capsule front, long neck on it, and four landing pods, your engines. So I picked this one up because I'm a fan of the Millennium Falcon. This is a nice little toy. Um, you know, it's got the stamps in there, got the spot to put it on the stand has lots of guns on it so it's got at least six guns on it but it's a very nice very nice little toy um what's disappointing is that nobody else is going to pick up this series to do these ships because i mean if we had like titanium do them they'd be a lot nicer or even if the x-wing miniatures game decided to do one of these it would be really cool very very nicely detailed but there's the concept. Now we're going to start in order. So starting with this guy, this is at the time, this is marked as the episode three Millennium Falcon with this paint scheme. At the time, with all the information I could find on the history of the Millennium Falcon, this was actually the Stellar Envoy. And uh, there's probably going to be a lot of arguments about that, but that's uh, through literature. That's the present time for it being used in the film in that timeline, uh, shuttling uh, passengers uh, through the Clone Wars. And I believe at this time is when they got the famous um, bomber pilot helmet on board when it was left there. So that's the Stellar Envoy. So that's the earliest ship besides the concept model. So we'll put that in order there. So then it goes down to here. Then Solo comes in. Now this changes the timeline a bit because uh, Disney says that um, all of the history of the Millennium Falcon is thrown out due to this coming out, the Solo movie. Um, this is the Hot Wheels version. So this would be next in line. This is Lando's. And it has the escape pod on the front. Uh, in a very slimming shape. And the satellite that sits down facing up. So no paint on the bottom. Only paint on the top. This is the new thing. I don't get it for any ships that are being done. They just don't paint the bottom. It doesn't make any sense. Why not just paint the bottom? But that's what we're getting for our cheaper manufactured toys today. Um, so this is usually, uh, I believe this one was 2 to $3. Bought this one off eBay. This one was a little more expensive. This one was $10. I couldn't find it anywhere. But, you know, it's still got nice detailing on it for what it is, for being a Hot Wheels ship. It's not too bad. I, I do like it. Then next in line is when Han had it, and this is your Titanium Series 2006. The guns on the top and bottom that do rotate, and the bottom's painted. That's what we can always trust for our 2006 series, is it's fully painted top, sides, and bottom, which is beautiful, just like the Stellar Envoy. Moving satellite dish. The cockpit is not as well painted you can see this one's just a, they slapped some paint on it and called it a day. This one they tried to actually draw the lines out on it. So 
Again, I've had this one the longest. Uh, this is one of my older toys for the diecast series. But it's very nicely detailed. I do, I do like this ship very much. Now, moving to the Black Series. Now, the Black Series, I had many opportunities to buy this ship. And now the current owner, it's now Ray's ship. Um, this one, I had a lot of chances to pick up and I just decided not to, and I'm not really sure why. Maybe I just wasn't impressed with the black series line, um, because it didn't have this beautiful paint as the 2006 series. So I missed out on that. I ended up paying $5 more. I ended up getting this one off of eBay for $10 and it came in yesterday and I'm actually very impressed with it. I'm kind of disappointed I didn't buy it before because there's a couple things on it. Now the top is painted, it's more of the white color. You got your dish that moves. And this is also titanium series, black series. Once again, nothing's painted on the bottom. I don't understand this. This is a higher level, higher quality, more expensive ship than Hot Wheels. It should be painted. It's kind of ridiculous, but you know, for us collectors, um, this is going to be the norm, I guess that we're just going to get ships that are ha you know, excuse my language, but half-assed and they did a better job with the cockpit. You know, that's all done real nicely. And they kind of slap some paint around here. Guns rotate top and bottom. Okay. Just like our 2006, the guns are different and it still has the landing pods. And as you can see, three and five landing gear. So, and they've got the uh, ramp colored, not colored here. This is actually very different. They didn't use the same mold there. You can see here. Now what I do like about the 2015 Black Series is they got this right, right here. This slope down is really nice. And the way it slopes here, it's actually a tad bit bigger than the 2006 series. Not by much, but, but slightly bigger. As far as the paint, you know, it's got some of the vents exhaust there. Um, but I, I do feel like I would enjoy playing with this as a kid because the dimensions are more correct. And there's, you can tell side by side. So this one's what I call a square back and this one's slimmed down more of the burger shape than this. I mean, it does have it like that, but it just, this looks more correct. Now, this may look more like the Empire Strikes Back when they're coming out of um, the station, right? As they're being attacked by the store or the snow troopers and Luke looks over. That's probably more the silhouette of what it looked like. And it may have changed a couple times. I know they designed a new model for Empire Strikes Back. And this is more of the silhouette from The Force Awakens, excuse me. And, uh, you know, you got your gap in there. It's more detailed. No detailing. Detailing. Not by much, but there's a little bit in there. But I just love the silhouette of this better. Because I feel this looks more appropriate as that burger shape for what they're going for instead of a square back like that. Anyways, um, I, I am glad I finally bought this piece and added it to my collection. It does look better than I thought. I don't know why I didn't pick it up in 2015. Again, I think it was just my issue with Black Series. The X-Wing was just horrible. Very, just terrible toy. Um, very cheap. But there's your line right there. So start these out like that I'll put these in order so you may hear that because we got some pretty bad winds today so starting from the stellar envoy lando at the time i believe this was owned by the rebel uh rebellion fairing uh passengers then you've got the han I'm sorry, the <laughs> the Lando, Han, and Ray 
Falcons. And then, of course, you have the concept. So I am glad they went away from this. Um, this wouldn't have caught my attention as much as this iconic shape. Um, it just looks so much better the way they went with this. If the theories are correct and he bit, you know, Lucas bit that burger and came up with this design, I guess, you know. But I like the blue back there. But this is, again, my favorite sci-fi ship of all time. And uh, working on getting the uh, 2008 Legacy version, uh, which is the big, almost three-foot Millennium Falcon. We'll do a review on that later. But there you go. There's your your three or your five ships, but four of all different owners at the time. Different captains, shall I say. Anyways, I hope you guys like this video. Uh, we don't have any special video, uh, video editing equipment, but... I love Star Wars, and I know you do, and uh, hopefully this will help you choose which ships you want to buy or further your collection. And thank you very much. Like and subscribe.